Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you decided to check out this video. Thanks for being here, and if you're returning, hey, hey, welcome back. Okay, so this is going to be an unboxing or an unpackaging of various shops. Um, I've got a few from Coffee Monster Co. that I've been kind of holding on to. I've been holding on to these two. I've had them. Um, this one came in today. This came in from, according to Allie, um, and then I have something from Jet Pens. So let's start with, let's start with According to Allie because I actually have not ordered from her before and I see her stickers from a few people that I like to watch and I decided to make my first purchase. So I'm pretty excited. I've already unpackaged most of these. Um, and let me just say, this is so cute. Um, I love her little, like, bag and her logo. Very, very cute. Okay, so this was the freebie. Um, these are super cute. Um, the cookies and there's some hot cocoa. And I think that's a, a, it looks like a planner, but it might be like a gift. But it looks like a little, like, um, traveler's notebook to me. With a snowman and some winter a floral. So cute. Love that. And then you get this nice little card. The only time you should ever look back is to check out that booty. Absolutely, so cute, love that. And all right, this is my order. So I'm gonna keep this off to the side so I can tell you guys what I got. Um, all right, I think mostly what I got was on clear. Yep, I like I like clear matte, especially when I'm working in my Hobonichis. Um, I just love the way it looks on the paper. I don't mind paper stickers, but um, I do prefer the clear matte. So I did some Christmas quotes. Oh, I love that one. I'm only a morning person on December 25th. I wish. That's like more for my husband. Um, so cute. Just some quotes from um, some songs. Ho, ho, ho. Cold hands, warm hearts. So cute. Love that. And then this one is um, the brave quotes. I really like these. I like how um, delicate they are. These are super cute. We've got Don't Be Afraid of Being a Beginner. Um, better an oops than a what if, 100%. Never let fear decide your fate. Mistakes are proof you're trying. I should show that one to Weston. Um, prove it to yourself and you are magic. Love that. I'm very excited to use these. And then I have uplifting quotes. I can and I will. Keep going. You can do it. Believe in yourself. If not now, then when? And take a chance. I'm really excited to start... Um, especially these with the brave and the uplifting. I'm going to use a lot of these probably in my planning life with Erin planner um, because it just seemed very appropriate. Now, these are the ones that I've seen and that I've been dying to get my hands on. And like I said, I'm really glad that I was just able to put in this order. Um, so I've got some Sage Alcohol Ink stickers, which I'm so super excited to use. Um, I've got the Black Alcohol Ink. So cute. Pretty cute. They're pretty. Love these. Um, and then I did watercolor florals, just to add in a little bit to maybe a monthly spread or some journaling pages, dailies, so pretty. And then I got one of these because you can't have, I can't have like stickers come in without anything that has to do with coffee. So, but first coffee, rinse and grind. I don't drink coffee to wake up. I wake up to drink coffee. Absolutely. And then these little coffee um, stains. Love it. I'm so excited to use these. Um, okay. And I didn't need this. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Okay. Um, we'll save Coffee Monster Girl for last. So let's do my jet pen order. Okay. Let me move this off to the side and I got a bunch of different things here. So let's see, let's start with, um, I did get these. I don't know, do I have my, I do. So this way I can see what it is because I'm not quite sure on everything. Get this open so I can see. Um, this is the Beverly Mary, my Mar. Mar, Mar Oh my gosh, Marami Sticky Notes. Probably butchered that, I am sorry if I did. Um, these are transparent sticky notes, I believe. And I like to use things like this for my, um, my dates, like things that I have to put on my calendar, but I'm not writing them in right away. 
Let me see. How do these? There we go. Where's the end? Oh goodness. Oh, these aren't these aren't transparent, but that's okay. Um, and then they're just like little squares. So these will actually fit really well in my weeks, and I can use them in my um, opening to cousin. I do have tabs that I use, like transparent sticky note tabs um, that I like to use, but I'm running out. So I wanted to try something a little different. Let's see if I can get this back in. Nope, I can't. Ah, all right. I don't really need that anymore anyways. Okay. Then I got a cover for my Hobonichi Weeks because I realized when I did my Hobonichi Weeks setup for my gratitude journal, I did not get myself a cover. I've been using the same plastic cover for my, um, my weeks for the last year or two. So I decided to get myself another one. Um, so this will be great for my Hobonichi Weeks that I'm going to be using for my gratitude journal. And then this is something that I was really looking forward to getting. Um, I've been looking for one and someone, uh, I think it was Amy, had suggested this. I think she gave me like the name and where it was um, from Jet Pens. So this is a soft pencil board. So this is obviously bigger than my Hobonichi cousin. But what I'm thinking is um, either I'll just use it while I'm writing and then just kind of take it off to the side. Or I might try to cut it. I don't know if this will cut very well. Um, but I think it's fine for me just to have it in there while I'm writing. Um, and it's mostly because I, so I have dashboards that I make. Um, and then, you know, these are more for, to mark my page. I make them so they're a little higher. And then this way I can find my page a little easier. I don't like pencil boards because I don't like to write on hard things. I like it to be soft. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, and like I said, I might have... I might see if Joe can cut it down for me. We'll see if we have anything that will cut through this. Um, so that'd be cool. And if I can't, then it's fine. Um, I could just have it like out on my desk kind of thing. Okay, what is in here? Oh, this is, oh, okay. I got the Tombow Monograph Light Mechanical Pencil. Um, what color is this one? Grayish blue. I'm really excited about this. Let's just write on the back. Of this. Ooh. I don't normally like mechanical pencils, but oh, oh, this is, is this refills? This must be refills. Or maybe that's how I refill it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't typically like using um a mechanical pencil, but this one's really nice. So I, I decided let me let me try a nice one and see if I like a nice one. <laughs> All right, we'll open that one last, so let's see. And I got a bunch of Uniball pens because I am obsessed with them. And I did get a Tombow 569. It's like a blue color. Ooh, that's super dark. It's like a super dark purpley blue. It's okay, I always end up with the really dark colors. I need to like go to Michael's and pick out some colors. All right, so what colors did I do in the Uniball? These are Uniball 1 gel pens. I did, they're in a um, point five if I can get this off these are so difficult to take off am I the only one that has trouble with these things there we go <laughs> okay this one is avocado green I believe I'll pull you guys in a little closer sorry it's just like a piece of paper I'm writing on <clears throat> I just love these pens I like how rich they are. I do like the 0.7 better. Let me see if I can put you guys in a little bit closer because it's just kind of light. And I'm going to actually turn down my light. It was kind of gloomy in here, so this might be a little too bright. Hopefully that is better for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Um, let me see. This one is, what color? Cappuccino brown. So normally I don't like writing like in my journals with colors. Like I've been trying like different, um, and pen inks and then I've just come to the conclusion that I don't like to write my journal in color but I do like to plan in color so this is really pretty so this one is cappuccino I do like the um 0 0.7 tip a little bit better and that's what I use for the black ink <clears throat> which is this one so you can probably see a little bit of a difference it's just super juicy 
and I really love that. And it dries really fast, especially on the Hobonichi paper, the Toma River. Um, but this one's a little bit thinner. This one's a 0 0.5. And this one is, what color? Plum Purple. Let's see. Ooh, that is so pretty. And I left some of this blue stuff on it. That is so, so pretty. And they do write smooth. Um, I really do like how they write. I just like the, the juiciness. I know it sounds crazy, but I like the juiciness of the the 0 0.7, but these I don't think came in that. I didn't see them in a seven. And this one is Nem Nemophilia Blue. Phil, I don't even, I probably butchered that name completely. Oh, that is nice though. That is a pretty blue. I like that. Okay. Then what else again? I got a package of them. And these are three colors, limited edition. I think one of them is a duplicate, but that's okay. I think it's the, well, maybe not. Let's see if it gives me the colors. Oh, and then the writing board is a should, should, I don't know. It looks like it's a shiitake. That's <laughs> not what it says. It's this one for the writing board. And I can put this stuff down in the description below too. So I don't know what colors these are. Does it tell me? Bellflower, let me see. Okay, good, these are different. So this one is Loqua Fruit. I don't know if that's a thing. All right, let's see. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, I like that color. Hope this is coming out nicely on camera. Sorry if it's not. It's like I'm sitting in a gloomy room again now. I don't know if it got darker on the camera. Um, the sun keeps going in and out. It's a weird, stormy day. Or last night, I should say, overnight. This is Bellflower. I think that's what that says. Yeah. So this one's a little... Oh, yeah. This one's a little different than the other one. So this one was Plum Purple, and this one's Bellflower. So it's a bit brighter. So cute. Pretty cute. I don't know why I keep saying cute. Okay. This one is... Mima Def something. I don't know why I can't pronounce words. I apologize. I used to be like embarrassed by it. Now I'm like, whatever. That's what happens when you turn 42. <laughs> Ooh, this one's nice. Oh, I like that. It's like a, a grayish color. Like a, it's a grayish. Ooh, all right. I'm really excited about all of these. And then these are, I believe these are just refills for my... My Uniball. I think these are the seven. I can get it open. Oh no, these are the fives too? Oh, that's sad. I guess I ordered the wrong ones. Let's see, I think these are just black. Yeah, these are just black. That's okay, I don't mind. I think I have, um, oh I got, I got the wrong one. I needed um, a refill for the Uniball 1P. This one's kind of running out a little bit. But I use it nonstop, so. <laughs> All right, anyways. That is okay with this. And then, oh, I'm excited to try this pencil. All right, close this up and move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm excited to have all these new pens. Joe's gonna be like, why do you need more pens? Be like, shh, shh, you don't need to. <laughs> do not ask questions, sir. <laughs> okay. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And let's get to my Coffee Monster Co. order. So I'm gonna pull you guys back up just a little bit. And we'll start with this one. This was the first one that I came in. I think this is from, this one's from the Black Friday sale. So thank you, Eula, for packing my order. I didn't get too much on Black Friday. I did do the Winter Critter Washi. We'll open it. I'm like pre-planning in my mind. I'm like, we're going into deep winter after Christmas and the yay Christmas. And we go into a deep freeze around here. So I did all the winter things. Get my knife under there. 
These are so cute. So we've got winter animals. So we've got um, a moose, a penguin. That's like a winter owl, a bear, bunny. I'm so excited. This is so cute. Okay. And then I did winter planning, or no, Christmas planning emojis. So pretty. Okay. And, oh, I love this bean card. How cute is that? See, now this is all like got me thinking about spring. <laughs> and I actually feel bad. We had a, like a beehive. It was like ground bees, but they were like little tiny ones. And I think I might have talked about them before, but like they were, we were calling them our little pilots all summer. They were kind of right near my door, but they weren't bothering us. They were like, if I did gardening, which I don't, if you've been around for a while, you know, I don't do that. Um, they probably would have been problematic. Um, but luckily we don't have any weeds in that area. So I didn't have to do any weeding. Not that I would anyways, but it was really cool to watch them all summer. And then something must have gotten to the hive after it kind of went dormant. Um, I don't know that much about bees, but the honeycomb has been dug up and there is no more bees. And I feel really bad. I'm kind of sad. But that's what that bean card reminds me of. We'll take a moment for the bees. <laughs> okay. Um, this was the freebie for November. We've got these winter headings. Love these. So cute. Okay, and then I did, I don't remember what this is called. The winter scene emoji, uh, washi rather. I don't know, I'm terrible with remembering things, but it's like Iceland something maybe. But I was really excited for this one because I have the biomes washi and I really love that. Um, so it's a different winter scene, but I really love that I have just winter washi now. get it Ooh. so gorgeous and I absolutely love how Helen puts in this um, it's so I don't want to say it's subtle because it's not but it is and it's just like this little bit of shimmer silver shimmer and it's in this one too but it's just so nicely done okay so those are my two winter washies this again was from Black Friday and let's see, this one is, this one's been packed by Assistant Tater. I actually bought these before Black Friday. Um, I wanted to make sure I got everything in time um, for the holidays. So, like I said, I've had this for a little bit. This is a good size order, so let's stack it up. I have another B1. <laughs> okay. I have another header, winter headers, so that's nice. I can have two of those now. And then I did two of, these are like the mini um, holiday. So I can use these in my Hobonichi weeks. And I also like to use them, my Hobonichi cousin, like on my daily pages. So I got two of those. We did Christmas mug doodles, like, cause I just can't, I need to have Christmas mugs. Christmas functional emojis, love these. Hot chocolate emojis, because Spencer is obsessed with hot chocolate. Um, and then this I actually need to start using today because we are at 14 days till Christmas. So I cannot believe that we are already here, but this is a Christmas countdown. Then I have Christmas Erin emojis, Erin's, Erin's emojis, <laughs> large Christmas doodles. I think I got three of them. Yep. So I can use these for my daily pages. Oh, I got four of them. <laughs> nice. And then anything left over, I just keep it in my holiday binder and I will um, use them next year. Oh, and I have a Christmas doodle countdown so I can use this in my journal if I want. So cute. Okay, this is mini days of the week doodles. So I like to use these for sometimes um, just creating like a decorative and being creative on my, and my Hobonichi cousin. It's so cute, I got two of those. I did Christmas emojis. So these are little strips. So these will work really great, like in my weeks or just dividing out some sections of time in my Hobonichi cousin. And then guys, look, I found them. <laughs> I love these trackers. I was getting them in my kit and then I started using them in my, um, my Hobonichi weeks for my habit tracker. So I did, which ones? These are Starburst. I got two Starburst and I got two Twisted. So super cute. 
Love it. I'm really excited about this. And then we've got Christmas activities. So we've got decorate your tree and then set up planner, open oven. So I might go back and like put some of these in some of my journal entries. Guys, I couldn't, I couldn't say no to this one. This one is reindeer onesie emojis. So cute. And then I did some Christmas emo uh, emoji washi strips. Love these. And then we did Christmas working emojis. Oh, perfect. So I can go and add these in. Um, I just did a plan with me and I'm like running out of my working ones. But we've got a reindeer, Santa hat, looks like the Grinch, Frosty, and then an elf. So cute. Festive doodles, just to be creative on my journaling pages. Gift wrapping emojis. We won't talk about how I haven't started gift wrapping yet. <laughs> And then I've got some holiday cheer sticky notes. I like to do like highlights with these, so super cute. Beanie, holiday beanie and scarf emojis. These are so cute. And then we've got Christmas TV doodles. So this way I can mark in all of the Christmas movies that I've been watching. Love Christmas movies at this time of the year. Like, like I said, we switch from like horror scary movies to Christmas. <laughs> Okay, and this is what came in today. I'm really excited. I actually don't remember what I ordered, but this was from Black. This isn't a Black Friday sale. Where did this come from? I don't know. Oh no, this was just recently. So maybe it was Black Friday. Did I do two orders? I don't remember. Goodness, I can't remember, guys. I apologize. Maybe it was Black Friday because yeah, it must have been Black Friday. So what was the other one? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, thank you, Jen. For packing my order I appreciate it and I got another one of these so cute okay so of course I got the protector piece pin because that is just where it's at right now and my cousin actually just got me a really cute um I think it's brick brickly bricksley bag and I'm going to be putting this on that because it is so cute this pin oh my gosh okay I'm just really excited to get that and then this is oldie but goodie washi strips Ooh, my cousin would love that. He loves Star Wars. So cute. And then I got this nice little card in here. I don't know if anybody else got I think we all got one of these. Um, I haven't seen them yet, but this is super cute. It's just like a little note from Helen. So cute. Um, and then let's see. I did the online chat with friends. It reminded me of me and one of my good planner friends. We do online chats. So that's what that reminded me of. And then I got the travel sticker. I don't go anywhere, but here's hoping. Um, and then I think these were my freebies. So, okay, guys, help me out a second. Control Z, um, is that like for sleep or like, um, is that generation Z? I don't know what that is. Control Z. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of weird and like, I'm confused. <laughs> so somebody let me know, please. Cause I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, please. If you know, um, control Z, like I think about like sleep, but it could be Gen Z. Um, which I'm not, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, and then flying away from my problems. Yes, I like that. And then this one, how to life manual. Like, come on, that's going on my Hobonichi cousin. So part of the reason why I haven't set up my Hobonichi cousin yet is because I was waiting to see what I got here. Okay, what else? I got the coloring card. Um, so cute. I meant to get two, actually. I was going to get one for Spencer, but well. And then what else? Oh, and this card is the same, so we're gonna push that off to the side. Um, let's do the kits. So I did the Icy Wonderland kit. I think I did three pages. I did. Love this kit. I used this kit like twice last year. Um, I absolutely love it. So this one's one of my faves. They're all my faves, I can't help myself. So this is the kit for the cousin. This is a winter mini kit. And this one's a little bit larger, but that's okay. I really love these colors. And then you just cut it down with a little bit of some sticker surgery and you've got a good thing happening. Look how cute that washi is, okay? And what else did I get? Let's see, 2023 subscription favorites. Large winter doodles. So cute. And then we did our icy large doodles that goes with that kit. I love these. These are so cute. This is when I really, so quick backstory. I found uh, 
Helen and the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, last, I want to say October, maybe November, when I was really starting to get into the Hobonichi, and then I decided to go with the Hobonichi cousin, and um, some of the kits that I had gotten and the stickers that I had gotten to start off the January year in 2023 were these icy um, doodles, and um, I'm obsessed. And this was some of my first planner spreads with the Coffee Monster Co. stickers. So these are super cute. And even though I am not a fan of winter, I am a big fan of these stickers. Okay. And then I did some fireplace emojis because we got a fireplace for my birthday. Like not a real one, just an electric one, but it's so cute and cozy. And I thought these would be perfect um, winter reading emojis because we're going to get lots of reading done this winter, I think. <laughs> And then we've got winter TV emojis. So I think I'm going to be using this. Like Joe and I were just saying that we need something to like track our shows. So I might use these to like put in what we're watching. Um, and then I was actually thinking about creating a tracker for the Hobonichi Weeks and possibly for the Hobonichi Cousin and have it be a digital download um, and put it up into my Etsy shop. So if that's something that you would be interested in, because Joe and I have a hard time keeping track on what we're watching so or what's coming up so if that's something you'd be interested in let me know down in the comments below um it would be a digital download i like to print mine on a sticker on sticker paper and just stick it right on in um because i have like a book tracker so let me know if that'd be something you'd be interested in um okay and then we've got snowy mountie snowy mountie hi i've done a lot of talking today snowy mountain scenery love that the girl and the boy and they're ice skating cute cute these are adorable. Winter emoji heads for the Hobonichi cousin. So cute. I like the colors. It's like just a little bit of pop of blue and brown. I don't know. I really like those. Cute. Winter is here. Hooray. I don't know if it's going to snow this year. Hopefully it does. Weston's wanting lots of snow. Winter critter onesies. And then we've got like the penguin, the bunny. Um, I don't know what that is. A unicorn? I think it's a unicorn. Um, this guy's just got like a penguin hat on and then a winter owl, which is so cute. I can't even, and then that, that's a fox, I think. So cute. I really like the owl. Penguins, penguin onesies. So cute. And then I actually have these from last year. I love these. These are winter emojis. So cute. I still have a couple left, but I need a new sheet. And then this is like a Valentine's Day emoji headers. Um, I can use these in my, um, Hobonichi Cousin or Hobonichi Weeks. And this will look good with a lot of the winter scenes and stuff like that. I will pop a color or I can use it for Christmas, things like that. So guys, this is a big stack of stickers. Look at that. So this was three different orders. Um, and I'm really excited. I haven't ordered this many stickers in a while. So this is kind of like a big haul for me. Oh, okay. So cute. Lots of goodies. Really excited to dive in and use all of the stickers and things. So, I'm going to take a sip of my water. No, maybe I can't. I can't get it around my camera. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Ooh, hitting the camera. All right. So, I think that's going to do it. I'm, like, so excited um, to start using these stickers. And creating is my favorite thing to do. It's one of my self-care things, and I just love it. It's good for my headspace and all the things. So, protect your peace, guys. I can't be the only one that's obsessed with this. Like, I think Helen really hit this out of the park. And now we have a pin to, uh, it's in, I don't know what I was going to say. Now we have a pin. There we go. End. Period. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's been such a long day. Weston's homesick. I got a little bit of a headache. It's been a crazy day, um, but I definitely wanted to come on here and share all these goodies with you. A couple of these packages, like I said, I've had. I've had two of my Coffee Monster hauls, but um, I was waiting for them all to come in, and they all happen to come in, according to Allie, and my jet pens and all the things happen to come in all today, which is kind of nice. It's like an extra birthday for me over here, or an early Christmas. I don't know. Okay, guys. Let's clear this up a little bit. Look at all the stickers. Just take it in for a sec. <laughs> so I did this last year where I bought a bunch of stickers and um, they lasted for a while. And that's kind of like what this is. Like I intentionally like plan out, you know, the winter months. And then once we start getting past the winter months and we're in like March and like kind of 
creeping into April. That's when I usually put in a big haul for spring and summer. So I'm really excited to use all these stickers. I can't wait to create. I hope if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit that bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new around here. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and any other video on our channel. It really helps the channel and we really appreciate it. And I cannot wait to create and share with you guys all the creations um, using these stickers and pens and all the things that we just showed you in this haul. And I'm really excited you're here with us. I cannot wait to see what 2024 has in store for our playing life with Erin. Um, and again, just thank you so much for being here and all your support, your chit chats, all the things. Really, really, really appreciate it all. And we're very grateful for you. Um, and until I see you guys again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.